yeah, you know, it's been an incredible experience. Obviously, you know, we started off in London, we took it to New York, and now, you know, we've brought it home um, to Lagos. So, you know, for us, it's uh, it was always something that we had planned. It was always something that you know we wanted to do and do big and just you know share with obviously our people back home. You know, we're all Nigerians, a lot of us, and you know, some of us Ghanaians and some international as well. But you know, for us, there's no place like home. And Ota and Gary has finally made it to Lagos now and it's coming out May 10th. No, like Meiji said, um, for us, we, we're, you know, global locals, as we call it. Um, what that simply means is, you know, we've grown up, I've grown up, you know, half of my lifetime in Nigeria, but I've been privileged to have traveled around to a lot of places and with JM Films Unbound, our background of companies, mm -hmm. we've worked and shot with many clients and partners across the world. So for us, when we wanted to do our first film, it was important to present it in the best way possible, you know, in the, in the way that we would want to see it. And, you know, with our communities that we've fostered and the, the story itself having a part and, and a, a connectivity to each, each and everyone, really. You know, it's not just about, you know, an African alone, it's actually for an African in the diaspora, African in the local hemisphere, also a non-African, anybody that just loves art and has, you know, life experiences as you would have it. So seeing London's reception, seeing New York's reception, seeing how it's been on socials as well and online community and just the critics as well that have come from all the platforms and the media houses. It's just been a gift of love for us that yeah. we're getting back. You know, we're seeing the support, we're seeing the connectivity, we're seeing people have their own favorites and, and their own pet peeves or their own, you know, questions unanswered or answered, you know, and I think that's the beauty of having multiple premieres so that it really, it plants the seed in the communities that you want. And we probably would have loved to do so much more uh, yeah. But, you know, wearing our executive producer hats, we had to choose the right cities and manage the budgets accordingly. But you're going to continue seeing Water and Gary everywhere. And, and not just noise making, it's actually intentional to, you know, continue telling the story, right? And Water and Gary might have more, you know, parts to it. It might have, you know, I'm, I don't want to reveal too much to it, but, you know, yes. the yeah. idea is to see where this goes. And we're very proud on behalf of everything Savage and Unbound. We're very proud of you know the results that we hope to see uh, what it was we've seen already and looking forward to the world enjoying it i think just um going from what jimmy was saying about being you know global but also local just kind of really sets the tone you know for what we what our vision was for jm films you know when we started it you know we wanted to you know we, we you know we grew up i grew up you know abroad mostly and i've come back recently like, you know the past 10 years 10 15 years but that was also with um, our music videos as well and you know our music videos were different and you know they they looked a little bit different and that's just because of you know the exposure and the, the eye that I had due to my upbringing. No, no, I'll, get, I'll, I'll, I'll tag on to that you know on the flip side for me I've grown up in Nigeria and then you know also then left to no jack but to studies and, and I guess you know further my education basically and in the process Meiji and I met in that journey and it just shows the power of both sides right because we were able to bring our experiences, me knowing what I'd been through growing up and what he had been through growing up and then converging that and coming back and, and, and investing, like you said. And, and it's a big part of us because we feel like culture is really your heritage, right? Like when you think about the success of any, any brand today, their country, their native is always going to be relevant, right? It's what they've done to put it on. Like Drake has put on Canada and, you know, many others have done that. America is one of the greatest storytellers, as they will tell you, when it comes to the nature and the pride of their country. So we know that it's important for us not to get lost in any source, you know, no matter the success, no matter the, 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 the accolades or the, the network. It's fantastic because it allows us to collaborate. You know, we are able to shake the table and have our say on the table. But coming back home is also important because we're driving then a narrative into the continent, driving a flow of confidence, driving a flow of diaspora, driving a flow of investments. We put our money where our mouth was for this you know, project, you know, ourselves as Unbound and also Tiwa and, uh, as Everything Savage. So it's an important, and Vanessa as well. So it's an important journey for us to continue to travel, continue to go outwards, but also continue to return inwards, right? Because it's an exchange, we get inspired, we, we are able to, you know, take experiences, transform, transliterate. It's like energy can be created, it can only be, you know, transformed from one medium to another. That's, where we, that's the way we see the culture that we have. No one owns the culture. You know, everyone is contributing in their own way, Afro B to Afro whatever, and, and just community, you know, fashion, lifestyle, you know, tech, 
um, finance, like so many amazing stories. Sports, of course, has always been a huge one for us. JJ Okocha has been, you know, many, many, mm -hmm. many planets with his name. Um, and, and that's the idea here. So we're here to stay. We'll always be, you know, around, but we'll also be, you know, outside. And, and the idea is to continue to use that to our advantage. It should never be seen as we're not true or we're not here or we're not this. It's the actual advantage to all of us. And with Tiwa, particularly to your question of how, I think it's also, you know, it speaks to the commitment we have to our own story and narrative. I mean, Tiwa, we've worked with for over eight years. You know, we've been doing videos, we've been doing commercial stuff together. You know, we won amazing awards like 49.99, which Meiji, obviously, as a prolific director, was able to, you know, take a song into a whole, you know, cultural phenomenon. And so to be here now for us, is just a growth we always wanted to see for ourselves, for her, for the community, for the Afrobeats industry, for the music industry. It's a cultural phenomenon crossing between film and music. This has never happened, at least from this part of the world. It's not a visual album. It's a feature film. It's an amazing soundtrack as well, which Tiba recorded again after the edit. You know, so it just shows you that we're all just given, you know, and, and giving is what you, you know, giving continues if you're really true to your art. And these guys, Meiji um, Alabi, who is also a debut on this journey for being a feature film director now, which I'm very proud of to even say out loud, mm -hmm. you know, we know that it's the beginning of many more, even with Tiwa, with others. You know, he has an incredible mindset. His grandpa is right there, General Alabi Sama. And I want to just you know, put an exclusive that there's something coming there in that, re in that respect. But that's all I'll say there. So I'll stop right now. Yeah, for me as a director, and you know, I think for us as JM Films, you know, I think we just want to create quality. Um, whatever we did, anything we did, anything worth doing is worth doing well. You know what I mean? And for us, um, you know, so it started off in the music videos. And you know, working with all these amazing, wonderful artists, you know, like Tiwa Savage, we were able to forge, forge these relationships over a matter of time and just continue to just give the best quality. And we just took that from music video into commercials, into documentary. And so the natural progression of all of that coming together is, is film. You know, I've always loved film. You know, we've always been really just into telling stories. You know, uh, the whole, all of, all of filmmaking in a sense is telling stories and um, feature films is the pinnacle of that. You know, of course, we, it's our natural progression to get to get to that stage, and it's something that we have been passionate about, something that we did want to do, and you know, thankfully, we were able to come together and make that happen. And Jimmy will elaborate there. Yeah, no, you've rightfully, you know, yeah. beautifully said. Like for us, you know, we've been on a journey. We have our own journey. We know where we started. You know, we actually both met first time at a whiskey show in the UK yeah. um, and it shows the power of Afrobeats, it shows the power of growth you know we, we all grew up together as they would say we you know with ourselves uh, many of us you know in the industry and you know th the point is that we're here to continue to give and continue to learn and continue to empower ourselves and others around us and Unbound Studios you know was formed in 2019 um, as a sister company but now our actual parents company so Unbound Studios is the hold co conglomerates that has you know ventures and investments in jm films prior gold pictures Kalo, which is a global networking platform just like linkedin for creatives to connect locally and globally to literally lower the playing field and and that's the vision we have we want to tell and contribute in not only narratives but investments in empowering others in building out others and building out ourselves and so with Unbound Studios, what you're going to see is that that's where our ownership really sits on the table, right? We've jammed films, we've done great projects with others, and we continue to collaborate, provide services as a company, as a production company. Uh, we will do, you know, production house for like, you know, partners, labels, other production houses, etc. But with Unbound Studios, that's our baby in the house. That's our baby that will grow with us. That's literally our baby's legacy. You know, we have two beautiful kids with each of us, and we want them to be able to walk into something that is ours. Ours and, and with Unbound Studios, you're going to see very authentic storytelling, very authentic sorts of visuals, you know, very, very unique angles and perspectives. We're not, we're not trying to reinvent the wheel. We know there's many others that have done great, but we're here to also just add our own little furniture to the table. Mm -hmm. You know, everybody's bringing something to the table, so we're bringing our own furniture because many others have inspired us that have come before us. And we can't do, we won't be here if we didn't see others do certain things that 100%. we thought were possible. Um, and so today, Unbound Studios will be hopefully in your, you know, TV screens for many projects to come. This is our first. And we're proud to say it's a music related sort of context. You know, it's not a music film, but it's a it's it's what, you know, has given us, I guess, our flowers so far. 
and so we're going into it with with the confidence and and working with also females that are empowering themselves too you know, Vanessa and Tewa have done incredibly well for themselves and it's an honor to do a project as a joint venture with them too. And that's the result you get now with everybody rallying around together for a positive momentum that continues and we know will continue from time to come. I'm learning to make peace with the hard times. I guess it makes us treasure the good times. Love or love.